All righty. Hi, everybody. This is the walkthrough video for Thursday. It is November 21st. It's okay. I can read. I can read dates. In try to week three, um, we are not even going to use the back of today's handout because today we said farewell and happy trail to Ms. M, who is headed to her full-time student teaching in middle school up closer to where she lives in the greater Indianapolis area. So um, we celebrated that instead. So Today, we're gonna to think about using community ecology to build resilience because the idea of keystone species, which you read about in the notes, brings new possibilities for ecosystem restoration and maintenance. So um, I'm not sure if I've got it in Canvas yet, but it is linked in these slides. So if you head to around slide 42, excuse me, you'll be able to find today's assignment. This is an old version that was formatted for online learning, but if you click here, you're still gonna be able to find the official website of the film. Um, you're going to learn a little bit about the scientists, and this is where you can begin to think through the things that they did and what that might look like. Um, you also might be able to um, do a little Googling to find out about each of these scientists. So um, they each come with a little icon. I think it's down here. Is that right? Where, where's the icon? I want to see a little icon. Here's Mary's page. So um, there's going to be a little icon for you, and that's how you'll know who's who. So you'll be able to Google that name if you were not here, and you can still work through this assignment. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is this idea, one more time, about keystone species. One of the things you're going to be asked to do is think about a disruption for Project 2 that has to do with applying ideas about ecosystems and energetics like cellular respiration and photosynthesis. So one really important uh, idea is this idea of keystone species. So without a keystone species, if you have an ecosystem with a community, remember that's made of populations, each population is all of, this, all of the organisms of the same species. If you remove a keystone, the ecosystem downgrades. If you put a keystone back, as we're gonna find out tomorrow, the community can reflourish. It's not always predators, but many of the examples that we have available are. But as you'll see, we have one really classic example in this film that is not a predator at all. Um, the movie's kind of sad in the middle, but the whole point is that this is a really powerful way for us to build resilience. So I also will tell you if you're not with us today that um, the you might see some snippets of the film or you might see a um, uh, uh, um, like a preview of this you need to know that Bob, who is really the hero of this film, was on his deathbed. This is a, a, a movie uh, shot from him in the day or two before he passed. He wanted this project to go. He was giving up last time with other friends and family because he believes so strongly in this film. But if you have lost a loved one recently, um, that, that it can be kind of hard. So I didn't want to let you know. You'll hear from him throughout the film if you have the ability to find it. So the movie exists online, but it got like chopped up to be a PBS special. I don't think that's terribly good. I think the one that you are able to find um, uh, is the theatrical one is a great one. Um, I would not watch the PBS station. I would instead see if I would be able to find the full length movie, which is I think it's like 96 minutes or 94 minutes long. So I try to find. So, all right, that's it for me. I hope you're doing well out there. Um, we will see you soon. Bye.